Hello guys, hello everybody, hello you. Welcome to my channel, Crazy Art. I am Cray, and today in this video, we are going to do a little Korea Do Lenta Festival haul. But before anything else, guys, please don't forget to subscribe, to comment, and like, and share this video to your family and friends. And now I am going to do a little haul from the Korea Do Lenta Festival. So guys, this is like all of the things that I got is in this bag. I didn't bought a lot this time because I was there at Korea Do last October and I bought a lot during that time and and I would really say that I haven't really um, picked up um, a lot of projects from that haul last time so but I'm still trying my best of course to do something out of that but then I saw something um, there again and I thought that I will be making this because it was already on my wish list or in my project list. So I'm really hoping that this time I can really finish the project at the moment. But um, it was super busy. But yeah, it's going to be like that. So the first thing that I'm going to show you, this was the first thing that we purchased there. Um, and... I really think that we can use this because we have like a home trainer um, bike or something. I don't know how to call that. But it's like a bike and the saddle is really, really painful when you are going to sit there for like 30 to 40 minutes. And I really want to sit there for like 30 or more than 30 minutes. But the thing is my <laughs> butt cannot really take it. So luckily, we found this. This is like um, an extra pillow for your saddle. And this is just super soft. It feels like you are going to wear like a Skechers um, shoe or a Skechers butt, you know, <laughs> for, your, uh, for your bike. So I'm going to try this out later if this would fit. I hope that this um, saddle, this pillow will fit but the thing is the it is super soft it is like um, a memory foam kind of um, or gel kind of pillow so it will give a little bit of support and this will really help me later if I wanted to bike on our home trainer and yeah I'm very happy with this so I'm going to try it later and I can crochet and bike at the same time for longer hours now. <laughs> the next thing that I'm going to show you, these are going to be yarns and I got it from Caro's Atelier. So they are known for selling um, patterns, um, yarn and you know anything that you will be needing for crochet or knitting. So I got some of it there and this, this is funny because they actually gave you an extra pattern to make this little um, strawberry. And I've made a strawberry before so I can make this again. That's going to be nice. And then I got from that store some Scapius stone wash yarn and this yarn is like 78% cotton and 22% acrylic yarn and you can use a 3 to 3.5 millimeters of crochet hook and um, knitting needles. So this is called the color 834 or the Morganite. I really like the color. It's like orange uh, and like white. It's like, you know, I'm not really know how to say it, but it is really like stone wash. So I like the feeling of it. It is so soft. And I already have like a project um, um, that I will be using for this, um, for this yarn. So I got this color and then I also got the color blue one. This is called the Blue Appetite, color 805. And then I also got like two pieces of stone wash scapias of Black Onyx, color 803. And I also got one color Beryl, 
833 and another one is uh, what do you call this? This is called the Moonstone 801. So they are different in colors. And if you're going to, to see with all of the colors that I picked, do you have any idea of what kind of project will I make with this? The thing that I like from this one, it is not just like with you know one colorway, but it is like a combination of black and white or blue and white. And yeah, it is just really pretty to look at and I really do have like a project in my mind What I will do with this and this is what it looks like The next thing that I'm going to show you it is from durable yarn and this is what the durable velvet looks like like this it is a very soft yarn and usually you make a lot of amigurumis or baby blankets or something soft because you can this is like really like for babies um yeah baby yarn i guess what i can say and this is like 100% polyester yarn and you can use a 3 to 5 millimeters um, crochet hook or knitting needles. So I got three pieces of this, the yellow, the pink, and the light shade of pink. And they are just really soft and it looks like this. So they are like velvet yarns and I already have an idea and this is also in my project list. So you will be seeing the project as soon as possible I guess because I am already prepared to create something out of these yarns that I got from today. So guys, those were the things that I got from the Crayadu um, Lente Festival this time, 2024, and it was fun to be there. Um, it's like um, there's a lot of different kinds of hobbies that you can, you know, do and also see and get some ideas from that event. And I would really say that I really enjoyed it and I will be going back there every time there's a Korea do. I think I will be going back there just to look at or just to get some inspiration or get some items or accessories that I'll be needing for my crafts. And yeah, if you are, of course, interested um, looking or um, you know interested or curious about what, all of the things that I've been making you can um, follow me of course on my social media which is all um, this in the description box, box down below <laughs> and of course I also have like um, an Etsy shop which is www.crazeart.com so you can see all of the things that I created there and yeah and if you are interested of course in buying yeah please do so if you saw the items there it means that they are ready to ship if you don't see the items there it means that they are not yet posted or they still have to be um, listed so guys that's everything for now I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I do and again guys thank you again for watching and I hope to see you next time and bye bye